when you're going along the wild Atlantic Way, one of the wildest spots must be West Cork. And in West Cork we have some magical areas. One of them being this where we are, it's Loch Ayn. People in West Cork see Loch Ayn as a bit of a treasure. We don't talk too much about it. When we do talk about it, we sing its praises. It's a very historic area. There was a village here pre-famine. Now for us, we go out here during the day kayaking. But it's really at night time that Loch Ayn's magic displays itself. The place goes quiet, the nocturnal animals start showing themselves and letting themselves be heard. The stars give a great display here. 4,000 years ago this was a freshwater lake. Then the seas rose, came in over a lip and now it's a saltwater lake. It became Europe's first marine reserve. In about 1860 scientists discovered this lake and thought, wow, what an amazing place. There's stuff living here that lives nowhere else in Europe. There's over a thousand different species represented here. Later on, when it gets really dark, we have the bioluminescence of the phosphorescence. It's all over the seas, all over the Atlantic. But in Loch Ayn, because it's so still, and such a remote area that it seems to be jumping out of it. The whole lake is quite deep. It's about 25 metres is the average depth. It goes right down to about 50 metres. For a lake, that's very significant. And it's the most southern fjord in Europe, and it's fed by the Gulf Stream. That's one of the reasons it's got so many exotic species here. Kayaks just drift along the lake as if you're on black sky. It's just so beautiful. So for kayaking, this is probably my favorite place in the world.